Hey guys, I am back with another video. I know I've been MIA, but I just wanted to come through, show you guys this makeup look, and do slightly a mini haul as well um, prior to getting into the makeup video. So let's hop into the mini haul and then we will get into this makeup look. So I just wanted to show you some things that I purchased. It's real, like when I say it's a mini haul, it's a mini haul. Just a few things that I wanted to show you guys before I actually put them away because my little basket is getting a little bit out of control and I'm trying to organize. So as you guys can tell, I got some braids and they are booty length braids. I'm loving them. Um, so I'm probably going to have these in for about a month or two. I didn't do them myself. So Y'all know I don't do that. Um, I did get them done. I love them. I will leave the girls um, information on Style Seat if you live like in New Jersey. She did a really good job. I really like them. They were super tight in the beginning. Um, I actually took some out that were like around my edges. Um, just to kind of like I wanted, I didn't want, I wanted to make sure I didn't lose any edges during this process. Sorry I'm talking a lot, but this may end up being a long video, including the makeup tutorial and the mini haul in this little intro here so just there'll be some time stamps if you just want to hop right into certain areas of the video so just to give you guys a heads up um nonetheless whatever these are the braids that i got i love them i will leave her information down below so you guys can check her out if you live like in this general area like union Essex county new jersey i'll leave her information down below i'll also post some pictures on my instagram i've been posting pictures on my instagram of these braids so if you guys are liking them like i am honey they are just so neat and just i've gotten so many compliments when i went to see my daughter she, like people were like where you get your braids and i'm just like sorry i got them in the states but you know i got a lot of compliments on them and i love them so anyway let me get to this real quick haul right now so i actually picked up a couple like random things um the first thing is a, a new foundation uh, it's new to me it's not a new foundation but it's new to me this is the il maquillage foundation i picked up the shade 170 it's the woke up like this foundation um i did pick this up a while ago i've only used it about twice um and it's only because i haven't been really wearing makeup honestly that often um and i have a lot of foundations to choose from um but i have used it like twice i have not fully uh formulated an opinion about it yet but if you guys want me to do a review on this foundation let me know and i will definitely get that out to you guys um but original thought i do like it it's not bad i feel like il maquillage is either hit or miss you either like it or you don't from the videos that i've seen and a couple of my friends or really one of my friends that i know that bought it and she actually returned it um but i like it and the color match is pretty good um I really hate actually buying foundations that I can't find in stores, um, especially like a high priced foundation um, that I can't actually like test. Not that they're doing that many tests, but I mean, I know at Sephora and Ulta, you can get like a sample size or stuff like that still, but uh, I just hate picking out foundations online. And even when I look through the particular videos of people that I watch here on YouTube that are like similar shades in the foundation range that I do use, a lot of them haven't done a review on this foundation. So if you guys want me to do a review on this foundation with like my current shade range comparison, if you guys are interested in ever trying this out and just been really nervous about doing foundation quizzes online, let me know and I will do that for you guys and I will post my review and the swatch of this foundation. I like it. You know, I haven't formed really a full blown opinion, but I do like it. Um, next I picked up, I picked up some of these. So when I was traveling, I planned on wearing makeup to the airport, which I did, but these did not come in time. So I didn't get a chance to actually try these out, but these are called cheek sheets. They're breathable mask liners. They pretty much go inside your mask. Um, and it will help protect your makeup and protect your mask. Um, I, like I said, I didn't get them in time for my trip, but I don't know why they sent me to, I guess I'm, I'm somebody double double shipped my order and I got two so you know I'm gonna take it but you know they sent me two um 
but I am actually gonna I'm gonna try it out um, I've actually when I was traveling I was like googling ways to protect your makeup you know under your mask like most of the time I don't really care because I know I wasn't gonna be wearing my mask long for where I was going but since I was actually traveling I was gonna be in the airport and I had a really long layover and I was gonna be wearing my makeup on the, my mask on the plane during my layover. I was pretty much gonna be wearing it the entire day, which that's not normal for me to do, even since I've been wearing my mask, wearing it the entire day. Like sometimes I'll, you know, you wear it to the table at dinner and then you take it off, you know, at, at the table. Or if I'm outside, I don't wear my mask outside um, and things like that. But since I was gonna be wearing it pretty much 10 plus hours, I kind of wanted to do something to protect my makeup and I didn't end up getting them in time but they seem pretty cool honestly they remind me of like coffee liners like the material of it just reminds me of like a coffee you call those I don't drink coffee but you know the things you put in a coffee pot those filters that's kind of the material vibe that it's giving me but let me take one out so you guys can see it looks like these and it literally looks like it just goes in your mask and goes like that so I'm gonna try it out um, and yeah we'll see but it should be interesting it looks like it's gonna it works the material the it doesn't seem like it seems like it'll like soak up that excess oil and won't transfer onto your mask which I don't care about the transfer onto my mask but what I do I don't like the mask soaking up the oils from my face because it, it's you guys know what I mean with the mask like it, it's, it's safe but it's an inconvenience when you're wearing makeup just saying um, next I picked up, oh, I picked up, actually I'll save this for last. I picked up some lashes. Um, these are my favorite, usually wispies, demi wispies or baby wispies. These are my favorites, but the ones I picked up, I picked up two of the Ardell wispy lashes. These are 700. These are the ones that have like the invisible band. Those are, these are the ones I usually go to, the ones that are like the Ardell ones like these. And I also picked up some of their faux mink demi wispy lashes and then lastly i picked up i just want to make sure this is best oh i picked up one of these which i don't i picked this up but i, I realized you need magnetic lashes to go with this and i don't have any magnetic lashes but i picked up some magnetic um liquid liner so i guess i'm gonna have to pick up some magnetic lashes to go with this because I don't I thought I don't I don't you know like the logic makes sense and I'm slow so I just thought I could use this and then apply my lashes I'm just like well my lashes aren't magnetic then it's not gonna attach to a magnetic liner so yeah I'm slow but I picked this up so I'll pick up some magnetic lashes to go with it but this is just the liquid liner just because I wanted to try it out and then I also picked up Juvia's Place came out with some new primers eyeshadow primers in three shades color one two and three light to dark um i picked up all three of them when these came out like i was stalking the website like i kept refreshing 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 and i picked up all three because i i'm pretty much on it when juvia's place drops stuff i wish they would just put me on their pr list already like girl just just do it hopefully where this game comes like I'm sorry, I'm looking for the other primer because I took it one out of this box. Oh, I did. Here it is. So this is color one. It's the lightest shade, which I actually used it for this look. So if you guys want to see it in action, um, stay tuned to the video because I will have it. Um, I used this one. That was color number one. Color number two was kind of like a medium shade. I'm not... Okay. Oh, no, that was color number two. Wait a minute. Oh, this was shade two. I used shade two in this video. This is the one that I used in this video was shade number two. Shade number one is pretty much like a beigey white shade. It's not white. It's more of like a beige shade. And then color number three. If you guys hear ambulance, I'm sorry. There's an ambulance coming down the highway. Um, shade number three is like a nice like brown skin tone color, which is actually pretty nice. I don't, I've never had a primer outside of using like an actual concealer um, um, eyeshadow primer like this. So it's called the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. So I'm pretty curious to try this shade out, but I did use shade number two in this video, which I didn't realize that I meant to do use shade one, but whatever. 
And that's it for the, the little mini haul. That's it. Literally, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. So it's not that long. Um, but I wanted to include in this video because I just felt like weird, like including it in um, a separate video for those like a few things. But I wanted to show you guys because I haven't done an actual haul in a while. Um, so yeah, let's hop into the actual tutorial. Like I said, there'll be timestamps. So if you guys skip through this part, you know, <laughs> okay um but i have timestamps and everything for you guys if you just want to see the eyes if you just want to see the foundations if you just want to see the lips if you just want to see the outro i will make sure to time stamp it for you guys so that you know i know not everybody wants to sit through a 20 minute video which i don't know if it's still going to be a 20 minute video but just in case it is you know you don't have to stick through it if you don't want to um so yeah uh let's hop into the video Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with the Eye Prep Eye Prime from Juvie's Place. This is the color number two, which is like the medium kind of shade. Um, this is actually new, it came out a month ago. I mentioned it in the beginning of the video. Um, I've been loving these primers. I am a person who uses primers all the time and concealer, but I was one of those people who believed in some type of eyeshadow primer. So I love the fact that they came out with some eyeshadow primers. Now I'm thinking just come out with that skincare in the setting makeup spray or something you know you know we just asked for a lot from Juvia's Place and most of the time they, they they deliver on our request okay next I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place I believe this is Morocco from the Nubian 2 palette I believe it's in that palette but I'm going in with Morocco which is the only other palette that I use for this eye look um, and I only use that one shade um, and I'm just going in with that kind of like as my transition so that when I'm building up some of the brighter colors every Everything just blends and looks really seamless and neat and just super pretty as this look turned out. So I'm just going to go in with a nice brush. I believe all these brushes that I'm using are from Morphe. I think I use a combination of Morphe and Juvia's Place brushes, but that was this Morphe brush. Um, next, I'm going to go in to the Violets palette again from Juvia's Place. And I'm going in with that very light, light purple that is in the palette. And I'm going to go in with that kind of right underneath that um, that Morocco shade I kind of blended that into that that's why it looks a little bit deeper because I'm kind of working it into that Morocco shade as well just to kind of build up the color and I actually liked doing this because I was not too sure about that really light purple shade but kind of layering it on top of that Morocco shade just gave it a really nice tone and kind of made it like warmed it up a little bit so it wasn't as cool as it looks in the palette so I actually liked that I did this so Going with that, next I'm going to go in with the deeper matte purple in that palette and I kind of just blend that on the outer V area. Um, kind of, I want to say messily, but I just kind of packed it on there to begin with and then I start working it in just a little bit, not too much. I didn't want to bring this color too much on the inside. I kind of wanted to keep her kind of like on that outer kind of area and then I just kind of go back and forth with the brush that I was using before to blend it out again just to make sure that it's nice and seamless and looks pretty neat. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that primer just to slightly cut my crease. I kind of don't apply it. Um, you guys seen this trick before. I've done it before numerous of times on my channel to cut my crease. So that kind of technique is familiar to you guys. So I just do that to kind of cut my crease um, because this was kind of a cut crease, but I ended up kind of blending it out in the end. But I just kind of also apply a little bit more because I'm gonna be going in with the kind of shimmery shade next, and I kind of wanted it something to have you know a little tack to it before I applied the shade um, and I'm just going in and with that deep purple and just kind of blending it into where that where I put that primer and just so it looks you know blended anyway next I'm gonna go in with the light shimmer shade from that same palette the violets palette it's a very light purple but it has like a nice satiny shimmery shade to it I love this color it is so pretty and then on top of this primer honey bomb love it so pretty really really love how it turned out it looks just it looks so pretty I love it 
Um, so I'm just going to pack that on, just kind of take my time just so I can get the payoff that I want and the intensity that I want, which honestly didn't take that much work. And I just kind of go back and forth between like the brushes that I was already using, going in with a little bit of color and just, you know, blending it all together. Next, I'm going to go in and line my, you know, top lash line. This is my MYX. I believe this is the, my, my favorite one. It's the MYX matte liquid liner. It's the, my favorite. I use it all the time. It's probably one of the only liquid liners that I use um, and I love it because I feel like it just gives me the most control and matte black. You can't go wrong with matte black. So I love that. Now I'm moving on to my face. Um, the primer that I'm using, this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Primer I'm applying first. I really love this primer just to help like Kind of smooth out my pores just when I'm having a bad skin day and then I'm just gonna set that with my translucent powder this is the Juvia's Place one I don't remember the name of it but it's like not the darkest one it's the one before the darkest one but you guys know all the products that I use will be listed down in the description box next I'm going in with um, a cream contour I'm kind of gonna um, contour and highlight underneath my foundation this is the Juvia's Place Contour Stick. I believe the shade is Congo. It might be their darkest one. I don't actually need to go this dark. I could use the one like right above it, but I don't have that one. So I go in with this one and I apply it with a brush just so I can kind of control how much I'm applying. Next, I'm just going to go in with the number 11. Oh, number 11. Ooh, where am I from? Okay. I'm going in with the number 11 I, uh, I Am Magic Concealer from Juvia's Place, and I'm going to be using that to highlight. I kind of liked highlighting underneath my eyes in this way. Now, it's kind of been trending, I think, and I actually really like it because it actually makes your eye look really, really lifted and just really wide awake. So when, when I'm doing like a very, I don't want to say glam look, but yeah, glam look, I like doing this because it just gives your eye like a nice lift like this illusion of a lift um if you guys want me to do a specific, uh, specific video on this technique let me know and i will but i'm sure you guys have seen it before um like i said it's been pretty trending and i do like it i feel like we used to do this like when youtube first came around um so yeah and i guess everybody's getting back into it but i like it i love how that look you guys can kind of see it here like it just looks nice and just lifted so before I go on with my foundation, I'm just going to spray my um, face with um, the Mario Badescu Rose Water just so that I'm not applying it on like completely dry bare skin. Not bare skin, but I kind of like to refresh my face before I apply my foundation. The foundation that I'm using today, I believe this is the Il Maquillage Foundation. I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. Um, but I'm going in with that fine foundation, the Il Maquillage Foundation. If you guys want me to do a review on this, let me know and I will definitely get that out to you guys as well. But I'm going in with that and I do like this foundation, I will say. Um, the color is slightly off, but I can always adjust it. I do have foundation adjusters, but I didn't do that for this video. Because I honestly did not leave my house this day, so I really did not. I didn't even care. Um, but it does look nice once I blend everything and set it with my powder, so I'm really not complaining. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with my loose setting powder. I believe this is, I forgot the name of this one too, but it's the Juvia's Place. It's the yellow toned one. Again, all the products will be listed down in the description box if you guys are interested and want to check them out. They will all be linked down below but I'm going to go in and kind of set my highlights um, before I set the rest of my face and finish up with the complexion. So to set my face, I believe, I'm pretty sure I used my Iman Luxury Press Powder. This powder is just like a staple. It's a bomb. I hope, like I feel like one, Iman is one of those brands that I just hope that she just stays around, you know. She doesn't come out with many products. She hasn't come out with anything new in a while that I know of or that I have seen. And I actually don't even buy any of her new stuff. But this, her like luxury press powder is just bomb. Next, I'm going to go in and contour. I'm using my kind of my, my usual, my black radiance, um, medium to dark um, contour palette. And I'm using the deeper shade, obviously, to contour. I use this palette a lot. I have another contour um, palette that I've just... I don't know. I just 
I ain't connect with it yet, so that's why I haven't really been showing it to you guys on my channel. I think I might have showed it once or twice. I'm not even going to mention the brand, honestly, but um, I just haven't found another one that I'm just completely vibing with. This one is just, it always works. Now I'm going to go in, just apply a little bit of that deep purple shade that I applied on that outer V, v down on my bottom lash line. I did apply my um, liquid liner, not liquid liner, my waterline liner off camera, I believe, or I didn't do it yet. One of the two, but yeah. I'm just going in with that deep purple just to apply it under my lash line just to kind of tie the look together. Um... Next, I'm going to go in with Morocco and kind of like kind of smoke that out underneath as well. Not smoke it out, but just kind of give it some consistency under that in that area. So I do this often when you guys see me apply shadows underneath my lash line. I usually do my crease color right up against my lash line and then whatever color I use as my transition right under that. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Tribe Highlighter. This is the volume two. One of my favorites, honestly, for this. Um, and there's another one that I like from Julia's face, but I kind of go in and use that in my inner tear duct and a little bit of my brow bone, but then I kind of wanted to soften that, so I went in that light shade from my Black Radiance Contour Palette, like that middle shade, and I just applied that. Next, I'm going in with some blush. I believe this is from the Sahara Volume 2 palette, and this is like the pink color, and I just kind of go in and just... Put it. These these blushes are very pigmented, so just be careful, guys. I was getting a little carried away. So I'm trying to decide between which lipstick I want to wear, um, and I wasn't really sure, so I went in with this. I believe this is the Wine um, Lip Pencil from Juvia's Place, and then the two lipsticks that I did use are from Juvia's Place as well. I do not remember the names of them. I believe one is called Oh Damn. Um, the darker one and then the lighter one I honestly don't remember but I again they will be listed down in the description box as usual um, but I apply that the darker one kind of like on the outer area um, and then I just go in with the lighter one and just kind of dab it in the center just to kind of give it an ombre but it, it, it worked but you know I felt like that lighter shade just kind of matched the actual tone of my like natural lip color so I feel like it didn't I don't know you guys might be able to see a difference I did but not really so yeah I like how it came out though I ain't complaining I do like it it's just you know I was just trying to use both of them because I just I needed to and that was the completed look guys okay so that is it for the video guys i am thinking about doing like an update video and things like that if you guys are interested let me know i might just do it right after filming this i don't have that many updates but actually no i'm not going to film it after this if you guys have any questions leave them down below um the one thing that i will mention is that these earrings are coming up. I have a, a few new styles coming in that'll be launching on my website hopefully within the next month. I'm waiting for the last um, bit of my shipment to come in. So these will be available on the site if you guys like these. Um, I'm actually excited about it. I love these um, earrings. They'll be back on. I didn't think I was going to do earrings anymore again, but um, I, I changed my mind. So Nonetheless, I will have that on my site very soon. Also, check out my site for my body butter, my hair and body butter. Um, I have about three different body scrubs on there and my soap, which I do have another soap that I'm working on. I'm just kind of, you know, formulating. I want everything to be kind of perfect before I actually put it out to you guys and make sure it's something that's actually beneficial. Um, so I have been working on that. But definitely check out my shop, totaldivarayshop.com, and um, you guys can check out all of that. I'll have these earrings aren't up there yet, but they will be up there before the summer. Hopefully, fingers crossed, before the summer. Um, and, um, you know, my body and skincare products that I'm working on that I'm going to be expanding on. Um, it's just, you know, I like to, you know, be in my kitchen formulating things and make sure they work and having some trial and error runs before I actually make it available to you guys. So, 
yeah so that's what i will say is one update other than that um if you guys have any questions pers about personal life business hair makeup anything like that or if you're curious about anything that's been going on with me leave the questions down below in this video and i will use the questions from this video to do my q a video because i know i've been kind of mia i've was sick early in the beginning of the year not covid sick sick and I wouldn't even say I was sick, but I got a little injured <laughs> maybe a few months ago. And just, you know, some personal things been going on that if you guys ask me, I'll tell you. If you don't ask me, then I may or may not tell you. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to know, ask me any questions, leave them down below. I am just in a super better place than I have been over the past like eight months. Um, I feel like the end of... I want to say going into the fall of last year into the beginning of this year was kind of like emotionally draining for me so i've been on and off of here i filmed things and um i've just been off emotionally um i want to say the fall going into the beginning of this year for personal reasons relationship reasons and things like that been going on and yeah I went, I went, <laughs> so leave all your questions down below if you guys are interested and yeah i will see you guys in another video i'm sorry this video was so long but i did want to kind of include like that mini haul in the beginning just because there was just like a few little things that i wanted to mention to you guys um that i, I was kind of excited about and i wanted to put them away before they're just sitting in this basket i have sitting here so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you liked this makeup look i love it i was going back and forth between like the the dark lip and the new lip I tried to come on and combine them, but the darkness is just pulling through and we're, we're going to go with it. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I'm here. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.